Okay, hello everybody. Uh, for those of you that did not watch the uh, previous tape on uh, on Merlin and his tugging on the uh, on a leash, uh, this is a continuation a little bit on a subject that I had a discussion about with my mother last night, my 85-year-old mother last night. Um, she's always interested in talking to me about uh, what I'm doing with dogs. And then uh, I have a brother and a sister, so she's raised three children. And then she automatically uh, starts to compare it to the raising of the three of us. And uh, I found that the discussion was pretty interesting last night on, on, in the direction that it went to. Uh, we were discussing, um, I think it was Zeus, uh, standard poodle, seven month standard poodle, and, um, and how the training was going. And, and I was trying to impress upon my mom how important it is for dog owners to understand the consistency that's necessary in, in, in training a dog. And, and that goes back to my saying, always be consistent, know your ABCs. Uh, always be training, know your ABTs. This is always going to be very important to me. I'm always going to be repeating this. But it, it, in this discussion last night that I had with my mom, it was even more important for, for, for me because I learned something in that conversation. I learned a lot of things talking to my mom. But this was something that I learned pertaining to dog training. Uh, when I was explaining these differences to her, one of the things that she said to me was that it was like using psychology on a dog. And I disputed that with her. I said, no, mom, training a dog is not like using psychology on a dog because a dog doesn't understand what psychology really is. I, uh, you can say to a child, I'm really disappointed in how you acted. And, the, and, and by saying that, the child understands what you're saying and the child is maybe embarrassed or the child is maybe sad now that mom and dad have indicated that they're disappointed. I can say to Bela that I'm really disappointed in you, and she really isn't gonna, get, gonna understand what that is. Granted, if I change the tone and I let her know by the tone of my voice that there's something wrong with what she did, um, it, it, it'll get her attention, but it really isn't the same as the psychology. However, after discussing with my mom, or ha after having the discussion with my mom, I wanna, I wanna change my belief on that a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to call it the psychology, the, psych, the psychological training of a dog. Let's put it that way. Because there is a psychology that can be used. Even though the dog doesn't understand necessarily the psychological influence that you're trying to place upon them, there is a psychology that's there and it is in the consistency. The consistency, by that I mean it, 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 Again, always be training, always be consistent. When I wake up in the morning, I do the exact same thing every morning and throughout the day when, uh, uh, in regards to my, my dogs. I have four dogs that I own right now. And uh, I, I, I let them out at seven o'clock in the morning every morning. Now, it might be a minute earlier, a minute later, uh, but not much more than five or ten minutes one way or the other. So from about 10 to 7 to about 10 after 7, every morning I'm letting my dogs out. I let the dogs out in the same order. I let Zeus out first, then I put him back in his kennel. I do not feed Zeus because that's not when Zeus eats. Then I, lead, I let ba Bela out, and again, Bela doesn't eat then. Uh, so I put her back in her kennel. Then I let my other two older dogs, Gypsy and Lexi, I let them out at the same time because that's what they've become accustomed to. I feed Lexi and Gypsy at that time at the same time, but not in the same room. I feed Gypsy here in this living room, and I feed Lexi, weather permitting, outside. Um, they take uh, whatever, uh, four or five minutes to eat their food. Then when Lexi is finished eating, she goes and 
does her duty outside, comes back to the front of the door, I let her in, and I let Gypsy out to finish her work for that moment in time. Then for a little while in the morning, I let Gypsy and Lexi hang out with me. Freedom to roam around the house, uh, just be uh, a dog, just do what they want to do. They're well behaved and, um, uh, and, and they do a good job. They heard their names and I can hear them. They're right next to me and I can hear them whimpering a little bit. Quiet, go lay down. So um, uh, something as simple as that is done consistently every single day. Now, if it's done differently, if I'm sick uh, and my wife is going to pitch in and help me with that process that uh, letting them out in the morning and feeding and she does it even a little bit differently the dogs recognize that they recognize that something is different and it's all four of them no matter how well trained they are and how well behaved they might be all four of them start to react a little bit differently and as they start to react a little bit differently my wife also starts to react a little bit different than what I would and it doesn't take long for the dogs to figure out that she does not she meaning my wife does not have the same training expertise or methods that I have it's not about necessarily expertise but it's the consistent methods and they start to they start to see the difference they start to recognize the difference and it's and 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 as that, those moments continue to progress, the separation of consistent behavior from the dogs start to get further and further away from where they're supposed to be. And many times my wife will say, uh, you gotta take care of the dogs because they won't listen to me. They would listen to her if she understood the consistent method that's being used and took it seriously. This is not to criticize my wife. This is the way everybody is. You don't take, uh, not everybody, I, I'm generalizing folks, so don't send me the eight mail. Uh, many people will not take the time to understand that almost every movement that you're making with your dog, uh, involving your dog, is a training moment as far as the dog is concerned. And everything that you do consistently and, and inconsistently is gonna have a trickle down effect on the result plain and simple and the more inconsistent you are with your method <laughs> the more inconsistent you are with your methods the uh, less likely you're going to have the results that you want in the behavior from your dog so I, I, I I'm spending a lot of time on this tape just trying to get across the point how important it is to always be consistent know your ABC's and always be training when, whenever your dog is, is, is involved with whatever you're doing. I don't care what it is. You have to always be training and you have to always be consistent from something as simple as feeding them in the morning to a loose leash walking. And it has a trickle down effect all the way through uh, and, and will have a, 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 it will be the difference between having harmony in your house with your pet and having a dog that may be harder to handle. So I, 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 I don't edit any of these tapes. I know I ramble on quite often. Uh, I try to make this as wholesome and uh, uh, positive and uh, efficient as possible. Uh, but you are, continue to send me messages, uh, continue to ask me questions. I'll do my best to try to answer them. And if I have a situation that I can make a video just for you like I did uh, for Merlin, um, I will I will do that for you. I want to try to help people um, get their dogs and their lives with their dogs to be harmonious and happy and you know you're going to be with these dogs for 10 years or more in most cases and uh, and, it, and it should be an enjoyable time. I'm not saying that there aren't going to be moments that even me as a trainer I have difficulties with a dog and their behavior um, but you know that's okay. Um, Anyway, thanks folks, have a good day, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.